Hey guys, Christian Denman here. So you're going through a divorce and you, you want to get your divorce wrapped up. and You want to get a fair deal. You want to get a really good deal, but a fair deal. And the other side, your spouse is just being a total asshole and they're fighting everything tooth and nail because they want to get a deal that's, that's, that's better than their best day in court. And you start to think, man, maybe I just need to go ahead and, and just give them what they want because if I don't, that my spouse is crazy enough or angry enough or whatever emotion enough that they're gonna make this thing last forever and they're gonna drag this through the mud and it's gonna cost me so much money at the end of the day I, I just need to give in a little bit you know, what do you do how do you make sure you get a fair deal and I'll tell you what we're doing with a, a client of mine the reason I'm filming this video is we just got out of court and uh, we have that situation or we had that situation and man uh, her spouse just wouldn't agree to anything and she pitched some really fair resolutions. I mean, they were win-win, fair resolutions. And he just said, nope, wouldn't agree to it. And so what we did is we recognized that he was going to do this and he was trying to break her to get this deal that was too good. And we weren't going to let that happen. And so we started isolating issues. See, here's the thing about divorce, right? What can make divorce so expensive you go to trial is that there are a lot of issues, right? There are kid issues and alimony issues and asset and debt issues and then there are a lot of sub issues too right so for kids maybe there's an issue about where the kids are going to go to school or who's going to make this decision or that decision or with assets and debts maybe there's an issue about a home or a loan on a home or a 401k so these are these issues can take forever for a judge to resolve so that's why you can end up going to a divorce trial. It can be four, five, six, seven, eight days in front of a judge, and that gets real expensive, real quick, with lots of lawyer fees. So, isolate issues and pick them off, and that's what we're doing. So, for example, in this case, we we took the kid situation and we presented it in such a way that it was a reasonable deal. Kids weren't really in controversy. There was only so much that this guy could fight about it. And we presented it in such a way that he needed to resolve the issue for the fair deal we gave him. And, and he did. And so just right there, the cost of the divorce cut in half. And we're gonna keep doing that with the sub issues. And we're gonna present them in such a way that the my client's spouse needs to accept and stipulate or agree on these sub issues as we go through this checklist. Because if he doesn't, we put everything in writing, and then later we get to go in front of the judge and say, Judge, let me show you how unreasonable this guy is. This guy is so unreasonable. We wouldn't be here on all these issues. We would be taking up a lot of time if it wasn't for this guy. And so therefore, Judge, you need to make this guy pay my client's attorney's fees for all this unreasonable, frivolous litigation. The other guy, his attorney, knows that. And so when we start breaking down the sub-issues and we isolate them one by one, and we present them so that 80 or 90% of these sub-issues, we're willing to resolve them for reasonable reasonable results, he has to agree. And if he doesn't, he has huge fee exposure. And so the long and short of it is by doing it, by isolating it issue by issue. In this particular case, it's what's gonna enable my client to get a very good deal, a reasonable deal, a fair deal, at a fraction of what the attorney's fees would be if we went to full trial on all these issues. Um, and, uh, and hopefully what will happen is, as we continue to do this, her spouse is going to recognize, all right, it's time to stop being a dummy. It's time to stop being an asshole. Let me work this out because I'm not going to get anywhere with this. And of course, like I said, if he decides to go full bore and bury himself, that's okay too because we're going to have it isolated and spelled out in writing for the judge. We can go to the judge later and show the judge with particularity how unreasonable as to each specific sub-issue this guy was. Hope this helps. Any questions, let me know. Take care, guys.